Marcus Aurelius once penned the profound words, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. With these sentiments as a foundation, how might we develop morning rituals that embrace this stoic gratitude for existence? We are about to introduce seven morning routines inspired by the sagacious insights of Stoicism, aimed at commencing your day with serenity and intention. Prior to embarking on this journey, I would be grateful if you could express your support for the video. Doing so assists in the proliferation of Stoic teachings. If you haven't yet subscribed, I encourage you to do so and activate the bell to ensure you're informed of every new release. Let's begin. Routine 1. Ponder on life's ephemeral essence. At the core of Stoic thought is a deep understanding and recognition of life's fleeting nature. Each morning, before the day's noise envelops you, carve out a moment to delve into this truth. Seek a tranquil spot where you can sit without disturbance. Maintain a posture that is relaxed, yet erect, mirroring the equilibrium you strive for between tranquility and vigilance. Shut your eyes and imagine the infinite stretch of the cosmos. Visualize the birth and demise of stars, galaxies swirling in the eternal cosmic waltz. Within this celestial spectacle, picture Earth as but a speck. Contemplate the rise and ebb of empires, the steadfast mountains, and the rivers that have etched their way through time. Now, narrow your thoughts to your own existence, a fleeting moment in the vast tapestry of the universe. This exercise isn't to belittle our importance, but to grasp the rarity and short-lived nature of our lives. Realizing the ephemeral nature of life serves as a powerful nudge. It first accentuates the significance of each day. When the brevity of our existence becomes clear, we tend to focus on what truly counts, avoiding petty distractions and squabbles. Starting your day with this perspective equips you to traverse it with a deeper, more meaningful intent. This morning practice isn't about facing death with dread, but embracing the now with affection, respect, and action. Thus, by anchoring our mornings in this ritual, we remind ourselves to live each day to the fullest, with intention and dignity. Routine 2. Document Your Reflections Journaling, a practice deeply embedded in Stoic tradition, transcends mere event logging. It's a deeply personal dialogue with oneself, a means of self-exploration, grounding, and occasionally a path to release pent-up emotions. The process of converting thoughts into written words can be remarkably transformative. Begin by selecting a journal that speaks to you whether it's a modest notebook, a decorative diary, or a digital file. This space is sacred, free from criticism and the expectations of others. Here, your unadulterated thoughts find the space to unfold. As you commence each day, pen down your initial musings. These might be echoes of dreams, residual emotions from the previous day, or expectations for the upcoming hours. This initial outpour acts like clearing away the leaves in your mental courtyard. Then, orient your thoughts towards gratitude. In the intricate web of life, it's all too easy to fixate on what's missing or what we yearn for. Stoicism, however, nudges us towards cherishing the present. Note down three things you truly appreciate, be it the comfort of your bed, the smile of someone dear, or simply the gift of awakening to another day. Moving beyond gratitude, engage in introspection. Consider a stoic concept or mull over a personal hurdle. Pose questions to yourself. Am I living true to my principles? Where did I let impulse override reason yesterday? How can I improve today? This is not about self-reproof, but about self-awareness and evolution. Conclude by setting a daily intention. In your journal, Inscribe a straightforward affirmation or pledge aligned with the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. This acts as your ethical guide, steering your choices and behaviors throughout the day. 
Bear in mind, your journal is a reflection of your inner landscape. It's at once a tool, a confidant, and a guide. Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, a seminal Stoic work, began as his personal reflections. It was his method for reinforcing Stoic ideals, comprehending his actions, and maneuvering through life's intricacies. Routine 3. Establish daily purposes, not objectives. While objectives and purposes both guide our direction, they operate in distinct manners. Objectives are typically future-focused, targeting achievements and final results. They set the end point. Purposes, conversely, shine a light on the path itself. They are anchors in the present moment, deeply intertwined with our principles and the individual we strive to become. The essence of daily Stoicism pivots on recognizing the divide between the aspects we can influence and those beyond our control. Objectives, often tied to outcomes beyond our grasp, might elude our direct influence. Even with diligent effort, unexpected barriers can emerge. Purposes, on the other hand, remain steadfastly in our power. They represent daily reiterations of our ethical values, a deliberate choice of how we engage with the world, irrespective of outside forces. As you initiate your day, post-journaling and with a clear mind, ponder the type of day you desire. Shift focus from tasks to personal aspirations. Question yourself, what persona do I aim to embody today? Perhaps you wish to exude patience, embracing each moment without haste. Maybe you aspire to offer compassion, acknowledging the silent struggles of both yourself and others. Or you might aim to display bravery, facing obstacles directly and venturing beyond your comfort zone. Document these purposes. They could manifest as, today, I shall prioritize listening over speaking. I will meet conflicts with empathy. Or, I seek to discover tranquility in turmoil. These are not items for completion, but gentle nudges towards the character you wish to manifest. As Seneca eloquently stated, the significance lies not in what you endure, but in how you endure it. Purposes serve as our daily navigators in this pursuit. They shape our reactions, choices, and actions. Beyond mere passive wishes, they transform into active decisions sculpting our day. By embracing daily purposes, you pledge allegiance, not to final outcomes, but to virtues. You define success not by achievements, but by your conduct, reactions, and existence. This mindset shift, deeply aligned with Stoic philosophy, ensures that no matter the day's uncertainties, your personal odyssey remains clear and steadfast. Routine 4. Accept Discomfort In today's society, comfort is often seen as a symbol of progress, a standard to strive for. However, the Stoics, with their insightful perspective, understood that an unrelenting quest for comfort can actually impede personal development. They advocated for the intentional incorporation of minor discomforts into daily life as a way to strengthen the spirit, build resilience, and prepare for life's inevitable hardships. Stoic thinker Seneca once suggested, allocate a few days where you shall live with the bare minimum of food and the simplest of clothes, asking yourself, is this the situation I dreaded? The intention here wasn't to endorse unnecessary suffering, but to liberate ourselves from the dependence on external comforts and to rediscover our inherent fortitude. As your day begins, contemplate modest ways to deliberately introduce discomfort. Perhaps it's enduring a cold shower to invigorate and awaken your senses, symbolizing a renewal and reinforcing your ability to withstand and prosper or opting to forego that initial cup of coffee, reminding yourself that your motivation and vigor are internal, not reliant on outside sources. You might also engage in contemplative practices, such as dedicating time to reflect on a previous difficulty, 
acknowledging your resilience and the growth that resulted. Or opting for walking or cycling instead of driving, immersing yourself in your surroundings and honoring your body's strength through physical effort. The objective here is dual. Firstly, these daily instances of discomfort act as a form of training for the mind and soul, similar to how an athlete conditions their body by consistently stepping beyond our comfort zones. Even in small ways, we brace ourselves for life's bigger, unpredictable trials. Secondly, they offer a new perspective. By periodically relinquishing certain comforts, we not only grow to value them more when they're available, but also understand that they aren't fundamental to our joy or satisfaction. In embracing discomfort, you're not inflicting punishment upon yourself. You're empowering yourself. You're accessing a deeper well of strength, discarding unnecessary dependencies and cultivating a stoic sense of liberation that comes from recognizing that genuine contentment doesn't depend on external circumstances. Routine 5. Engage in Mindfulness and Contemplation Though Stoicism and mindfulness originate from distinct cultural backgrounds, ancient Greece and Eastern traditions respectively, they intersect elegantly in their shared commitment to a focused, intentional existence. Stoics were deeply aware of the importance of the immediate moment. They contended that much of human anguish stems from lingering on past events or fretting about what's to come. Epictetus succinctly noted, it's not events themselves that disturb people, but their judgments concerning them. Here he highlighted the significance of our perspectives and the empowering nature of the present. Initiate your day by carving out a moment for mindfulness or contemplation. This doesn't necessarily entail adopting a specific posture or reciting specific words unless those practices speak to you. It's fundamentally about anchoring yourself in the present. Select a serene area and settle into a comfortable position. Shut your eyes and shift your focus inward. Begin by merely noting your breathing, sensing the expansion and contraction of your chest or the air flowing in and out. Your breathing, constantly with you, acts as a tether to the present. When you find your thoughts straying, which they naturally will, softly redirect your focus back to your breathing, refraining from self-criticism. After centering yourself, Broaden your awareness to the physical sensations you're experiencing. Sense the pressure of your body against the seat or ground. Take note of the ambient temperature, the texture of clothes against your skin. Observe these sensations without creating a story around them. They simply exist. Next, move to observing your thoughts and feelings, envisioning them as leaves on a river or clouds in the sky. The goal is detachment. You are the witness, not the actor. This practice dovetails neatly with the Stoic practice of differentiating between occurrences and our interpretations of them. Conclude your meditation by contemplating a Stoic principle or aphorism. Perhaps reflect on Marcus Aurelius's assertion, the cosmos is in flux. Our lives are what our thoughts shape them to be. Allow this insight to permeate your consciousness, directing your deeds and reactions throughout the day. Incorporating mindfulness and contemplation into your morning isn't just a soothing ritual. It's a stoic strategy to acknowledge and treasure the now, to differentiate between what happens outside and how we respond internally, and to foster a mental bastion of calm amidst life's unpredictabilities. Routine 6 re-engage with Stoic philosophies. The enduring insights found in Stoic philosophies provide a guiding light for leading a life marked by dignity, tenacity, and intent. Yet these philosophies are not simply texts to be read and then disregarded. They are kernels of insight that necessitate regular nurturing to truly take root in our psyche and reflect in our everyday behaviors. Each morning, commit to a practice of delving into the profundities of Stoic sages. This might involve the meditative musings of Marcus Aurelius, the enlightening epistles of Seneca, 
or the practical lectures of Epictetus. Approach these texts not as ordinary literature, but with a sense of veneration and purpose. Allow chance to lead your exploration, perhaps choosing a Stoic excerpt at random or using a book specifically designed for daily Stoic contemplations. This method often brings you unexpectedly to teachings that resonate strikingly with your current state or the day ahead. When you've selected a piece, truly engage with it. Read deliberately, allowing each phrase and idea to deeply permeate your consciousness. Absorb its core, envision its application, and contemplate its broader implications. Consider how this ancient wisdom mirrors your own life. What timeless truths does it unveil? After reflecting, you may feel moved to document your thoughts. Journaling here transcends mere writing. It's a contemplative act, transforming the ancient's wisdom into a personal creed. As you inscribe your insights, you may uncover additional dimensions to the philosophy perhaps viewing it through the lens of a recent event or its potential impact on a forthcoming situation. However, Stoicism is fundamentally a philosophy of deed, and thus the true culmination of this morning routine is its practical implementation. Should today's lesson revolve around life's fleeting nature, let it motivate a deeper appreciation for each instant. If it addresses the triviality of external judgments, Use it as armor against undue criticism or flattery. Each Stoic lesson is essentially a call to action, an invitation to infuse your day with righteousness and sagacity. If you're part of a community or have friends on this Stoic path, engage in discussions about these philosophies. Sharing insights, listening to diverse interpretations, and engaging in thoughtful dialogue can deepen your comprehension and encourage collective enlightenment. In sum, revisiting Stoic philosophies each morning is more than an academic exercise. It's a daily reaffirmation of living consciously, purposefully, and virtuously. As the Stoics teach us, the true measure of learning isn't just understanding, but embodying and enacting the wisdom. Routine 7. Embrace Amor Fati. Within the rich mosaic of Stoic insight, there exists a principle both profound and wonderfully straightforward, amor fati, or the love of one's destiny. This isn't an invitation to mere passive acceptance, but a fervent welcoming of all that life presents, whether it be pleasure or pain, success or setback. Each morning, as daylight heralds the arrival of a fresh day, we also face life's inherent unpredictability. Plans may unravel, aspirations may falter, or unexpected challenges may arise. It's at these junctures that the Stoic concept of Amor Fati calls out to us. It urges us not just to tolerate, but to genuinely cherish whatever unfolds. Envision the sense of freedom and empowerment this mindset provides. When confronted with a challenge instead of bemoaning, why me, you could ponder, what lessons does this bear? Or even declare, this is precisely what I require. This attitude doesn't downplay the gravity of difficulties. Instead, it highlights the hidden opportunities, the teachings, and the resilience born from adversity. To cultivate Amor Fati in your mornings, spend a moment envisioning the day ahead. Consider potential obstacles you may face. Picture them not as barriers, but as essential elements of your narrative, deliberately chosen by the cosmos to sculpt and enhance your character. Reflect on Marcus Aurelius's words, an obstacle on the path can also become the path. With Amor Fati, every occurrence, no matter how minor or grand, is perceived as a contributing detail to the grand artwork that is our existence. It's a potent affirmation that we are not simply at fate's mercy, but are co-creators, capable of transmuting every situation into a chance for evolution, enlightenment, and appreciation. As you embark on your day, let this philosophy be your guide. Allow Amor Fati to steer you through turbulence with fortitude, through joy with thankfulness, and consistently forward with an unwavering affection for the odyssey of life. 
Stoicism's true essence isn't about emotional suppression or leading an austere existence. It's about grasping the essence of life, channeling our focus into what's within our realm of influence, and nurturing a sanctuary of tranquility within ourselves. While these seven approaches provide a structured guide, allow Stoicism to flow and adapt within your life, tailoring to your unique circumstances. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius remarked, the noblest form of retribution is to not become akin to your foe. Refrain from becoming an adversary to your own serenity and wellness. Which of these practices will you weave into your morning ritual? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I hope this video has been enlightening and I am grateful for your companionship on this journey. Until our next encounter, delve into these stoic methods and watch them transform not just your mornings, but your entire existence. Embrace Stoicism. I wish you a good life.